Hello everyone. I've been trying to get the camera to act right. I hope you can hear me. I'm going to speak a little loud so that you can understand what I am saying. Um, the lighting is always feels like it's off in here. I can't wait till I get my new camera, which will hopefully be very soon, and um, you will get better quality videos from me. Um, I just wanted to take this opportunity today to let you guys know that I was kind of having a rough time, and I think it's a combination of things. I think it's, you know, the issues that I have with fertility. Um, I also think that it's um, not being able to move forward with certain things just because of the financial issues associated with um, my infertility at this time. Um, and then also, I was um, laid off a while back and I just been feeling a little bit down and frustrated and my husband was like get dressed you know get yourself dressed and you know then you probably will feel better about um yourself today or what have you and I just was really thankful for him for telling me that because I was feeling kind of down and I just wanted to lay around and really not do much but I felt like I should get up do a video you know get dressed even if I didn't really have anywhere to go you know but just to take the time out to, you know, do something for myself and make myself feel better about, you know, just about, you know, maybe just my appearance for now. Um, I am so thankful for all of you subscribe, new subscribers. I know I'm a different mix than you may be used to with Smile Today, Tears Tomorrow. Um, but I hope that you gain some understanding and some clarity about maybe some situations in your life as you watch my videos. So again, I wanted to thank her for um, um, right, making that video, and I do appreciate it again, Amy. And I love you so much, and thank you for just being who you are and not making any apologies for who you are. Um, getting into details about exactly how I'm feeling on my birthday, I was really saving this, and I, was, I didn't want to run and make a video just for this, but I was kind of saving this about um, my neighbor. So, me and my husband, we go running in the morning. He does more running. I do power walking slash running. So, I'm working on my weight because, you know, we, they always talk about, you know, your weight is an issue when you have fertility problems, which I understand and it makes sense. Um, but I've seen, you know, people that are much bigger than I am pregnant and having babies. And it's just, you know, it's kind of frustrating. But in any event. So I said I'd like to say on my birthday, we were coming back from jogging. And it was a wonderful run, you know. And then, like, we live in a building. So what happens is when we get to the building, the last hurrah for the, for the workout is running up the stairs because we live at the top. So... Um, so I, I went up the stairs first because I heard somebody like on a second landing and I saw it was my neighbor, not a neighbor that I'm very, very, um, friendly with. There's a couple of people in the building that I'm friendly with. And for me, like I said to you guys so many times, it works for me to talk about what's going on with me because I don't feel alone, and I just don't feel the pressure. Like, if I'm talking to you about it, then you should know not to ask me when I'm having a baby, or you should know, you know, when it, you know, just, it, you know not to be obnoxious, because people have a tendency to be obnoxious and aloof, and they don't know, what, you know, they don't really know what they're saying, but in any event, it just makes me feel better about it. But this particular neighbor, and I have expressed, you know, my feelings to certain neighbors that I'm a little closer with, but not this one. And so I said, so the neighbor was going into her apartment, getting back to the story, she was going into her apartment, and when she went into her, she was going into her apartment, she said, hey, how are you? I said, I'm fine, how are you? She said, oh, are you pregnant? And that's like the worst thing anybody can ask for me. I'm just putting it out there. When you're trying to have a baby or you're, you know, you you can't do it at the time or whatever. It's just like, oh, God, not again. That's just how I feel about it. And she goes, are you pregnant? And I go, no. Why do you ask? Trying to give her a way to kind of like step back and say, you know, okay. She goes, because you got fat. Not, oh, you gained weight or whatever. And she's an older lady, so I understand, you know, 
certain kind of things they're more accustomed to saying or whatever. I said, no. I said, I'm not pregnant. And so she went into her apartment. And I saw again later on that day, I didn't even say, acknowledge her. But it really hurt my feelings. And she didn't really have to say, you know, oh, um, you got fat. She could have just kind of left it alone. Or she could have said, oh, you gain weight. I've heard everything. I really have heard everything. But to be so obnoxious about it kind of made me feel bad. It really, really made me feel bad. And like I said, it's no secret. So if somebody's telling somebody, you know, T.I. has fertility issues, it's not a problem. But for me, you know, she just came off so obnoxious and it really, really made me a little bit wound up. I tried not to let it affect me on my birthday because I just wanted to have a wonderful day, which I ended up having just an awesome time. But after that day, I wrote in my journal about it, and I just was like, wow, that was very insensitive of her. And then when people say to me, oh, why are you so, because I've gotten a few comments, and not to point blame at anybody, why are you so, oh, don't ask me about babies, and why do you want to make a t-shirt? Because of like obnoxious people, just like this lady, to actually come out of her face and say to me, oh, because you got fat. Now, I can't say don't ask me about babies, but she can be as obnoxious as she wants to be. So, in any event, just having a rough, rough last couple of days, and I, I'm talking to my husband about it, and I'm like, we're going to make it through, and I'm almost on the verge of tears right now. I'm like, we're going to make it through, right? And he's like, yes, we're going to make it through, and I just appreciate I appreciate him for that, because he's so supportive, and he's so helpful and he's just so loving at the times so when I need him to be so so guys I guess on that note I'm gonna go but I just wanted to share with you that I'm just kind of struggling today I'm having a hard time and I just can't wait to be almost finished with this journey because it is very difficult and it's very hard and I just, I don't know, I really, really don't know how I got here. And I know it's nothing that I did, but it just feels painful. And so, thanks for listening. You guys are awesome for subscribing and listening, and I appreciate it. And to all the women that are on this journey, and the husbands too, I just want to send a shout out to all the supportive husbands. Be encouraged, be encouraged, be encouraged, be encouraged. Take care. Bye-bye.